we're back at DFW Airport. We're going on a trip, and this time we're going to Switzerland by way of Milan. Can't wait. I know, can't that's going to be exciting. Gosh, Leaving 90-degree weather here, <laughs> and we're going to 50-degree weather, and it seems like it's going to be raining the whole time, so I don't know if we'll be able to see the Swiss Alps, but we're still going to have fun. Yes, I'm sure. Our plane is delayed two hours. We did mm -hmm. hang out in the lounge, but they closed, so they had to kick us out. So we're going to stay here for another <laughs> hour and a half. Which is fine, which is fine. We're glad that we were able to make it to the lounge. After a couple of glasses of wine, I'm fine. Yes. <laughs> Our plane was supposed to leave at 10.59, but now it's delayed to 12.27 a.m. So... <laughs> it is what it is. Yes. And I had to change the connecting flight from London because we're flying into London. So I had to change the connecting flight from London to Milan because it gave us about an hour. And London Heathrow, we need yeah. more than an hour to change terminals there. And then we're going to be in Milan around midnight. So we're just spending one night in Milan and then we're taking the train to, let's see, it's called Grindelwald, Switzerland. And we're going to stay there for five nights and then come back to Milan the night before we leave and then coming back home. Flying into Milan was a little bit cheaper than flying into Switzerland. <laughs> I always look for the good deal. Unfortunately, we did not get upgraded. We are on the upgrade list, but I doubt we're going to get it. Just hope we're going to be upgraded. If not, we leave at 1230 in the morning and hopefully we'll sleep. I hope so. <laughs> but just keep the hope high. So we're going to hang out the gate here for another, I think, hour and a half till we start boarding. And then we're flying to London Heathrow and I can't wait to go to the lounge there. That's that's our new favorite thing to do is going lo lounge, ho ho lounge hopping. <laughs> <laughs> How many glasses of wine did I have already? <laughs> so again, we want to take you with us on this wonderful trip and we hope that you like our travel vlogs. We'll see you on the plane. We're on the plane and one of us did get upgraded. And as you can see, I took the seat. So it's gentleman enough for me to take the seat and he's all the way back in 32A and I'm in 5D. I feel really bad, but they only had one seat available. So we took it instead of giving it to somebody else, we took the seat. I asked him to do a video, so we'll see what he says. It is now 12.15 in the morning. So hopefully we'll both sleep. I may sleep a little bit better than he will. Sorry, Shokin, but if this happens again, you're taking the seat next time. Or maybe we can probably switch it halfway. Hopefully we can do that. I still feel very bad. Sorry, Shokin. Finally on the plane. And they were supposed to be here beside me. But hey, that's not ever. <laughs> she got upgraded to business class. I'm sitting here in the coach 32A. But it's not bad, actually. I have a good leg room. I work in good sleep. We made it to London in this beautiful lounge and we told you that one of us did get the upgrade, <laughs> yes. but we did split it. I was able to convince Shokit to come, or actually I did ask one of the flight attendants if it was okay for him to come and we could switch. And they said, yeah, no problem. It was rough time in the first four hours. I'm I tried sorry. to sleep. I might, I, I might have slept about an hour, <laughs> I slept. but it was rough time. But <laughs> thank you. Thank you for letting me well, go and course. sleep the last four hours. There. I was not going to stay there the whole time. <laughs> and when I went to go back and get him, he was like, no, I'm not leaving. And I just stood there. It's like, well, I'm not leaving either. <laughs> Thank you for insisting. <laughs> I know how to insist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, when I got there to the business class, I put my head there, adjusted the seat, I stretched my leg. I didn't know what happened afterwards. Heba told me afterward that she came and took a video of me, of yeah, course. Yeah, I took a video and I yeah, started here. I didn't feel that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw him sleeping. He was out. But hey, it still worked. We were able, even though just one of us got the upgrade, we were both able to enjoy it. So we're going to be here until we know what gate number we are at. And the flight to Milan from here is just two hours, so quick flight. We're in the back. There's no first class on that flight, probably. And I saw that since we're arriving late, I think the trains from the airport to Milan pretty much stop by then, because yeah. we're running late. Around midnight. So I think we're gonna have to find a taxi, which is fine, which is fine, but I just like the train travel. Yes. And then we'll do a little room tour there, and I think that would be it. We 
We made it to the hotel. It usually takes about an hour from the airport to get to Central Milan. And the taxi driver that we had, he was clocking it at like 170 kilometers. He was crazy driving. I was scared. <laughs> in the like beginning. And so 170, I think 177 is the most I saw. So what is that? In miles about 105 miles per hour. Oh my god, yeah, that Mini Cooper that he was driving can fly. And it was curves and my mind went to Princess Diana's like, oh my gosh. But anyway, we're here in this hotel. It's called the NYX Milano. And it's like right across the street from the Milan Central train station. Here's the front door, really nice. And here's another door here. That's the next door. Oh. Next room. Okay, so that's the connecting room. I think right here is a closet with the safe which we probably won't use the closet because we leave, I in think, five hours? in five hours. <laughs> but let's turn around and show you how big this room is. I don't think it's very big, <laughs> but it's very nice, very modern. We have a nice, uh, I think that's a queen size bed. And I like that it's an angle. I have a film star. I wonder if it's an Italian actress here. Good size TV, which we probably, probably won't even turn on. <laughs> I think this is the bathroom here. I think so. Wow, that's a nice bathroom. That's huge. It sure is. Okay, you got a nice shower. Yeah. Shower, and you do have a toilet and a bidet, and you got a lot of space here. I mean, look at that. Has a hair dryer. That's good. And that's it of this room tour. Good morning, and what a beautiful morning it is. I'll show you outside the window here. But we slept for about a few hours. We're probably still on US time. Took a shower and it feels so good to be clean. Oh my gosh, and my hair and have a little makeup on. But let me show you what's outside. Look at the beautiful buildings here. And this building right here, that is the train station, Milano Centrale. And so it's pretty much a one minute walk to where we need to be. It's a beautiful day and we hope it's like this in Switzerland, but it looks like it's gonna be cloudy and rainy the whole time we're there. But it's still gonna be fun no matter what. We're gonna finish packing and head out to the train station. And Chuck, what do you think? What did you say? Sorry? <laughs> I said we're gonna pack up and head to the train station. Oh yeah, yeah. we're ready. Oh. Yeah, and look at the train station, the building. Look at the details of the buildings. They don't make that anymore. No. Mm. Okay, let's hit zero. This is a small elevator. Yes. So <laughs> us and uh, two. I know, my backpack's kind of oh. hitting you. Yes, I know. Okay, we try to turn around with my backpack on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice uh, hotel. It is, yeah. Open the door. <laughs> so here's the entrance to the hotel, NYX. And there's the hotel across the street. So we were right, right up there. Pretty big. Wow, look at the architecture there and the big clock. How beautiful, look at that. We're on this train and it's so smooth. So different from the one that we took in Egypt. The overnight sleeper train from Cairo to Aswan. But still, train travel is fun. I'm gonna look here and I think we changed trains three times. So we're on four different trains. So here are the, the train stops that we're going. There's a couple across the aisle and they're talking about their lives and where they lived and where they traveled and wow, we want to be them. Well, the other guy. You know, a whole couple. So I think we're going to be passing the lake and I think it's going to be on our side. So hopefully that's going to be a sight to be seen.
This was the train we were on. All right. So I guess we're going to track three. Our next stop is at Spitz. Okay, we're on our train, the next train. You wanna go up? Yeah. Let's go up. We made it to this train. <laughs> and this is the right one, right? I hope. This is so fun. You having fun, baby? I'm having fun. And we're on the upper deck. Uh -huh. So we can see a little bit more. Oh, and that other train, the last train that we were on, there was this cute couple just talking to this other gentleman. I'm sure I mentioned it before. Their life story, their travels. He worked in different places. Yeah. He, he worked in Saudi Arabia, uh, went to Alexandria. Yeah. Uh, went to Argentina. My God, he's yeah. a teacher. He's a teacher. Yeah. But what's sad is that they said they're not going to travel anymore because it's harder on them because of the time difference and I guess hard. And I'm thinking, he's like, oh, we need to travel more before we get like that all right people are starting to come on board listening to them saying that they don't want to travel after this it's like no because they're still active looking i mean about 75 something like that yeah but still but it seems like they've been traveling for years they've been everywhere and even when their kids were little in the 70s they didn't even live in the states lived in some parts in saudi arabia and he said from there you could just take a train ride or plane ride to different countries like three hours like it is in the states from dallas to new york if anything is learned is to travel while you can because life will catch up we still have about, about 20 minutes left before it uh leaves this is so fun i love being on the upper deck so we can see more of the swiss alps actually i think now we're in switzerland I think the seats are nicer here they have like a little like a restaurant booth right there this one we don't have assigned seating so we can just sit wherever we want which is nice because i can just take this whole row i love train travel so good yeah this train we're not going to be on it for that long we leave at 10 48 and we arrive at 11 23 oh. so 30 minutes yeah. i mean just a blink Let's go to platform one. We're not riding in these cars, are we? <laughs> I guess not this one. <laughs> Maybe the passenger people sit in the front and all this is cargo? This can't be right. Yeah, maybe it's coming after this. I don't know what time it should be here, but we should leave at 11.34. What time is it now? 11.30. Whew, okay, that was close. Because there was that train that was cargo, and finally this train came, and people were waiting, and so we all got on, and by the time we came and sit down, the train's moving. Okay, this is the third train of the day, and we're going to interlock it. We're now on the last train to Grindelwald and it's standing room only here, but we made it with two minutes to spare. But it's not that long of a train ride, so. It's only 30 minutes or so. But we made it, yes. I'm running out of battery, but we made it to the last stop, Grindelwald, and I need to map out where the hotel is and then just, I mean, this, the view here. It's incredible. Oh, thank God. Wow, soak it. Here is our hotel, Hotel Belvedere. Oh, I hope our room's ready. Welcome in. And we're going to check in. Oh, almost out of battery. 
We're inside of the hotel. Our room's not ready yet, unfortunately, but we're outside in the balcony having some Swiss wine. And let me tell you, the Swiss white wine, I think it's the best. We don't find many Swiss wine in the States because they don't make, they don't produce that much. So they only keep it here. But I think we may take a couple bottles. I don't know. We may have to check your bag in. We're here drinking wine in front of the beautiful scenery. And right here is the Eiger Mountain. So there's three famous mountains here, the Eiger, Monk, and the Jung and right now we can see the Eiger. It has cloud coverage on the top, but it's a beautiful day. Oh my gosh. Don't know what we're going to do yet, but so far we're just relaxing right here, drinking wine, Swiss wine. We left the hotel. Like I said, our room's not ready. So we decided to walk through the village and I think we're going to make it or try to make it to Glacier Canyon. We're going to try that. That's a nice a small village. Yes. Restaurants, stores on both sides. We saw some Swiss chocolate we oh, need to get. I would have to get some. <laughs> Especially the dark. You love the dark. Mm -hmm. And I want to buy some Swiss wine. Oh boy, that would be nice. But yeah, we're just checking out this village, Grindelwald. seems like my gimbal is giving out on me, but look at this beautiful scenery. It's still raining, but I just had to show this. And we're walking downhill to go to that Glacier Canyon. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. So I was just enjoying the view. And that's where we came from, winding downhill, and we're gonna have to go back up. We should have brought the GoPro, but since our room wasn't ready, we just grabbed the backpack because we wanted to get out. And my camera, the gimbal went out, so now I'm using the iPhone. It still works. Yes. <laughs> but we're still walking. It's raining still, but who cares? Yeah. <laughs> we're walking in Switzerland in the rain. Look at the beautiful wildflowers. Look at the chalets. And look at the poop on the ground. <laughs> but wow. I'm friendly. Oh, but look, oh, eating the grass, doing God's work. And I guess y'all are the culprit of that. We made it to Glacier Canyon and this is how they harvest ice. And they were in blocks this size, kind of like in Frozen with Hans. Yes. <laughs> Let me see if I can pick one up. Come on, Heba, you can do it. Oh yeah, I can pick it up easy. <laughs> okay, we made it inside Glacier Canyon. And it feels nice and cool. Here is the end. They have this mirror here so you can see your reflection that you finished this trail. We made it, baby. Yeah. Well, it was a nice hike. Yeah, it was a nice hike. It's not, you know, very steep or dangerous or rocky like that. It's just the scenery. Now we got to go back. <laughs> so we took the bus back to Grindelwald, which was a lot faster than when we were walking down because coming back, you'd have to walk up. But Glacier Canyon is right in between these two mountains right there. So we're heading back to the hotel. It's just incredible here, incredible. We made it back to our hotel. A room is ready as you could tell. And let me tell you, Glacier Canyon, that was so fun. Let's do a little room tour of this hotel, Hotel Belvedere. But here we do have a full length mirror with a closet. <laughs> Ooh, we have robes slippers now this hotel does have a spa and it closes at 10 p.m and i think we're gonna go to that tonight i mean look at my hair it needs to be <laughs> washed so then we walk in here and here is the main room we do have a nice little couch it looks kind of space age then we notice that we have some popcorn in this cute little jar and then let me show you the key 
here's the key to the hotel. So we do have a chair, we do have a nice desk with a coffee maker, nice TV. Yes, we can swing it. And then we have a king size bed with nice comforters. And I don't know if it's something European where they always have two separate comforters, not big, you know, one big one. Oh wow, look at this bathroom. Ooh, we have a towel warmer. <laughs> we do have a bathtub shower, and I believe this is the shower? No, the shower is here, other side. Oh, well that's good. So you can have a bathtub and just kind of rinse off here. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice sink, Ooh, nice mirror with lights. We do have a toilet, but I don't see a bidet. Oh, I think the bidet is there. Mm -hmm. So you probably have to push a button somewhere. Oh yeah, here's the remote for it. <laughs> All right, let's come in here and shut the door and see the shower. Because I was a little disappointed that that was the shower. It's like, really? But this is the shower. It's nice and big. But it does seem like that they have the same shower head as by the bathtub. Okay, but at least you can raise it up higher and lower if you want. Now, let's see what the view looks like. We have, I guess, two doors to go outside the balcony. And we have the view of the Eiger. And look at the village down here. I have to say it's kind of quiet here instead of in town because it's not really in the main street in the main part of town. But look how lush and green. We hope one day it's not going to be so cloudy and rainy because we want to see the top of the Eiger and just see the other mountains. But wow, look at the view. Come here and drink your morning coffee. Mm -hmm. Have a glass of that white wine that was really good. So I think we're going to call it a day because our camera's going out of battery, our gimbal's going out of battery. I hope the mic's still on. Well, all right, you guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video, this travel day to Grimmauld, plus going into Glacier Canyon and this beautiful hotel room tour. And we hope to catch you next time. Right, Tokit? Yes. All right. Bye. Bye. It's really delicious. <laughs> As I said, it's quiet. There's a lot of cars coming up and down the street. <laughs> Here or there? I think around that way. Wow, I like it. <laughs> How's my hair look? <laughs> it's look nice. Kind of sweaty. No, it looks it's nice. hot. No, it's nice. All right, nice. let's go. <laughs> uh, they are gonna talk all the time. Yes. Is it 10:27 in the morning? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. It's late.